Hello, everybody. I hope you're having a comfy, a cozy, and a sunny Thursday afternoon. Where have we been? It's been so long since we added any content to the channel, since we uh, did any streaming. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you what we've been up to. Uh, we've been uh, quite busy. <laughs> busy and infirmed. Mm. <laughs> but before we uh, before we continue, uh, it's going to be a, a vloggy, uh, talking head kind of video. So let's make it a little bit more interesting. How about some uh, mm, how about some background music? Let's see what uh, editor Dave can co come up with. That's a uh, that's a real that's a handsome choice right there. Good job, editor Dave. And tell you what, let's uh, add some more fancy. Uh, how about some uh, random gameplay footage in the background? And again. Exquisite choice. What have we been up to this whole time? Uh, gosh. Well, <laughs> um, starting in uh, late, uh, late July, third week of July, something like that. Uh, Catherine and I, we got COVID. Mm, that was lovely. <laughs> Gotta tell you, this is the third time we've been sick uh, so far this year. We had a, a nasty cold in uh, in February. Um, we had a, a more mild cold, but a cold nonetheless, back in June, and then we got COVID <laughs> in July. It's been a rough year for our immune systems, apparently. Mm. Um, fortunately, it wasn't so bad. Like, the, this, is, this is the second time I got COVID. The first time was back in 22, I think. And uh, that was awful. Hated that. And that was, <laughs> that was uh, I don't want to use the word suffering. That was bad. Um, this most recent time, uh, some, a few weeks ago, nowhere near that bad. Um, I knew it was COVID instead of just an ordinary cold, because I could feel some, like, tonsil soreness, which I remember very vividly from, uh, my, my first time with COVID. My <laughs> first time I had COVID, it felt like my tonsils were gonna just explode out of my throat, right? Um, this time, though, nowhere near that bad, but just noticeably tonsil kind of stuff. So it's like, okay, we should get tested. This isn't <laughs> this isn't a cold thing, is it? And what do you know? We got COVID. Um, so you know, I got put on Paxlovid, um, and that I assume helped because this whole dealing with COVID this this recent time felt uh, very mild and bearable. I still had to not stream because I was, uh, you know, phlegmy and coffee and uh, just unpleasant to listen to, much more so than usual. Um, so, you know, no streaming. Oh, also, just out of energy, right? Because that's what happens when you get sick. You, you run out of energy. <clears throat> and uh, high energy streams like mine, you know, <laughs> we gotta, gotta maintain that ultra high uh, nitro charged uh, energy like I so often uh, produce for you anyway um so yeah covid happened it came and went for us um but then pretty much immediately after covid <clears throat> uh we have some uh we have some family uh in a in a in a city uh, a couple states away um catherine's parents live in one house in that city and her uh, her brother and his wife and kids live in another house on the other side of that city uh, the two houses uh, went on a joint vacation together. <clears throat> they were gone for about uh, uh, 10, 12 days, something like that. And they needed somebody to uh, house sit and pet sit for them in, in their two houses. <clears throat> and uh, that was uh, uh, <laughs> being currently unemployed for much, much longer than I was uh, <laughs> hoping would be the case. Um, I have ample free time to uh, have uh, dedicated uh, to have donated <laughs> to the, uh, the cause of, uh, allowing them to go have a nice vacation while I took care of their houses and their pets. It was a nice time, but it still meant be, uh, me being out of town for, uh, 10 or 12 days, something like that. So, you know, there was COVID that had me out of commission for, you know, five to seven days, and then I was out of town for another 10 to 12 days. And that brings us basically to this week, where I've got a couple projects going on. Um, one was, uh, unplanned, <laughs> let's say, um, the, uh, we've been noticing our cat, Sugar, um, we have a sofa and a matching accent chair in the living room, and we've been noticing that lately Sugar has been, uh, sort of clawing at the mesh underneath the accent chair, um, in, in recent weeks. And we thought, no, oh, no, that's kind of a problem. And we, uh, we should we, uh, should we, we should, should we do something about that? Is it, is it a bad thing if, if our cat gets inside, a, he gets inside our furniture? 
Uh, so we started looking into it, and you know, we have we have friends that are telling us stories about how you know they personally their cats didn't get injured when they got lost inside furniture, but it was close. Um, our vet just yesterday was telling us about how a client of theirs, their dog, um, was, uh, had, had wound up inside the, 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 the client's recliner. They didn't know the dog was there and they reclined and, uh, did some injury to their pet that way. Um, minor injury, but injury nonetheless. And then, you know, you look on the internet and there's all sorts of horror stories of people that have lost their pets to, uh... To uh, furniture-related uh, misdeeds, right? So it's like, okay, this is this is a this is an important thing. We need to find a way to to cat-proof uh, our furniture because clearly Suge is wanting inside our furniture. So we need to find a way to make that not happen. Um, so you know that was a project that I was just sort of uh, brewing in the back of my mind, right? And then uh, this past weekend. Uh, Shug managed to get inside the accent chair <laughs> we have in our living room. Um, fortunately, um, she must have only been in there for like five minutes before I noticed. Um, so, you know, no no injury, nothing bad happened or anything. Um, she's fine. Um, but we did have to tip the chair back and cut the, um, cut the mesh on the bottom of the chair to get Shug out of it. <laughs> so, um, currently the chair is just sitting on the floor. We took the legs off. It's just sitting flat on the floor, um, so that she can't get back under it. But like I said, it's, uh, it's a chair that, uh, matches our sofa, which means our sofa is exactly the same underneath as that chair is. It's just a matter of time before, uh, Shug notices that and tries to get in our sofa instead. So, uh, I had to bump that project up <laughs> just a little bit. Um, I was hoping to put that off a little bit longer. Um, but no, that, uh, that became a uh, top priority to, to cat-proof the underside of our, uh, of our furniture. So that's uh, something I'm working on this week. Um, because this job search is taking a little bit longer than I'd have, uh, than I'd have otherwise liked. I've been unemployed since April. Ugh. Um... I'm going to start uh, pursuing some temp work just to bring some money in uh, while I continue searching for uh, some some uh, proper full-time work again. Um, so that'll be something that uh, starts uh, devouring some of my free time as well. Um, so, you know, that's, that's uh, all in all, that's what, we, what, I've, what we've been up to um, in, recent, in recent weeks and such. That's why there's been no, uh, no content on the channel. Um, but... Um, there will be a... We will continue. But we left off in the middle of a Perfect Dark. I'm very eager to resume Perfect Dark. Um, just recently, the uh, Doom 1 and 2 official remasters by Night Dive Studios came out. And with that remaster, um, in the past, for, for Doom, you know, GZ Doom, uh, the source port... Uh, there was a mod to replace all of the the uh, sprite assets with uh, with voxel models, which is an awesome look. I love that. And also another mod for a different source port um, to add ray tracing to uh, to Doom, which I'm a, I'm a sucker for ray tracing. I don't know what it is about ray tracing, but oh man, <laughs> I love it. Um, and I've been really, I've been wanting so badly for there to be a way to combine the voxel mod and the ray tracing mod. And for the longest time there wasn't, um, you know, voxel models and ray tracing. Oh, that's a, uh, that's a match made in heaven right there. I love that look. Um, but um, it didn't happen until this remaster came out. This remaster came out and all of a sudden, I don't know what changed, but Voxel, the Voxel mod and the ray tracing mod are compatible all of a sudden. I don't know what changed with the uh, remaster, but that's a thing now. Um, so I'm eager to, uh, I think I might have a, do a couple streams of just some good old Doom 2 with a Voxel mod and a ray tracing, just because it's pretty, <laughs> just because I like it. Um, so that might be coming up in the future. Also got uh, a couple surprises in the works that I don't want to talk too much about just yet. Um, but I have I have plans, suffice it to say. Uh, <laughs> um, the, you know, all of this to say that uh, 
I'm, I'm sorry for the uh, the content drought uh, in recent in recent weeks. Um, you know, we uh, life is what happens when you're busy making other plans, right? And uh, I've been planning on streaming. <laughs> I'm always planning on streaming, and then life happens. Ain't that just how it goes, though? Um, so you know, I will I will return to streaming and producing content for you uh, in the very near future. The uh, the the person that I do this for the most is myself right i just do it because personally i enjoy the heck out of it <laughs> so you know i'm very interested in getting back into it because i probably more than anybody else on the planet uh derive joy <laughs> from doing what i do um so i'm very interested in getting back into it um but you know that'll just require um all these projects and all these things uh nearing a state of completion <laughs> so that i that i can uh carve out a little bit of free time for streaming again um not sure how soon it'll be but let it be known i miss streaming i miss creating content like this um and i'll be back soon um but yeah that's just a little insight into uh what's been what's been going on uh with uh with uh, Catherine and I in recent weeks and why there's been a bit of a content drought um it is absolutely um not uh, our intent <laughs> to have, have not been producing content recently. Um, we enjoy doing what we do, and we miss doing it, and we'll get back to it as soon as we can. But uh, in the meanwhile, just thought I'd give you guys an update. Anyhow, take care. As always, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and have a good one.